So today we're talking about grounding. Um, yeah, and the purpose we want to talk about grounding is because it's especially important to think about in the winter time when you can't walk barefoot outside with your feet on the ground touching the earth. So what is grounding, first of all? Well, <laughs> that's a great question. Um, grounding basically is putting your skin in contact with the earth, whether it's gardening and digging in the dirt or walking barefoot on the beach. So why is that important? Because spiritual people are always like, hey, make sure you're grounded. Make sure you're grounded. And I'm like, I hate it outside. I'm not a nature person. Um, It's really important because our bodies can build up positive ions and the earth has negative charge. So when you're in contact, it um, neutralizes and has a calming effect. Um, so you can sleep better at night and uh, lowers your cortisol levels so so it gets rid of stress it gets rid of anxiety yeah what else do positive ions do i think do they cause cancer I yeah think they do yeah. yeah so hey that's positive <laughs> so one good reason to ground yourself yeah yeah also um so we talked about stress yep and helps with mindfulness um just really being in the moment um which is important when you're in nature, um, just I feel like being surrounded by the beauty of nature, you can't help but be present um, and while you take it all in. Um, I think in the winter time, it's really easy to want to shut yourself inside because it's cold out. That's totally me. And kind of have more screen time, so you're kind of more out of touch with what um, is happening in the world around. So it can increase your focus. Like you said, it increases um, the quality of your sleep, helps you fall asleep. Yeah. And then when your energy is all over the place and we need to get that focus, we might be thinking in terms of concepts and ideas, but not really applying them. And so then by putting your feet on the ground or grounding yourself, you're learning how to take that information, all this knowledge you have, and use it. Yeah. And therefore have a better reality, a better outcome. Yeah. Definitely. So methods of grounding yourself. In 2016, everybody was talking about mindfulness, right? And so they were also talking about meditation. That's one way. Yeah. Another way is crystals. Let me just grab a crystal. Um, tourmaline, smoky quartz, anything a dark color, they say it helps you with grounding. And so when I send you out these crystals in the mail and you're like, oh, great, but what is that? Now you know. That's the point of making this video. <laughs> so any dark crystals are going to be helpful um, with that. Yeah, and like we mentioned earlier. You know what? Fuck it. We're not, we're not getting <laughs> crystals out. It's just way too challenging a concept with this, with this background. But you get the point. And you could Google what a tourmaline is or a hematite or a smoky quartz yeah. if you're not already aware. Um, so here's the thing. Um, another way to ground yourself is walking outside barefoot. But what we we're talking about is winter here in Minnesota. We are here in winter. Yeah. And so, um, in Minnesota, I meant to say, we are here <laughs> in the winter. Because that's like the only thing that exists in Minnesota right now yeah. is winter and Super Bowl, but mostly winter. <laughs> and you can't walk barefoot outside. And if you do, you're totally crazy. You'll you'll get hurt. Yeah. It's <laughs> so, not a good situation. So how could we possibly ground ourselves aside from maybe making like a root chakra grounding energy cord that's conceptual again right it's something we imagine but can be very real yeah um how else could we do that um another way is through jewelry that incorporates nature into it um so i make nature jewelry um i collect lichens and moss and ferns and flowers all different parts of nature um, and in the winter time, I help to ground myself by touching those objects and making jewelry. And they all have a wood frame, which is also from nature. And so I feel grounded by wearing necklaces or earrings that have nature in them. Um, and they help have a calming effect on myself. So, so a good maybe winter activity also is making those little biosphere things. Yeah. 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 Like having plants in your home. Chopping vegetables. And, yes. Those are all huge because I think they also help to remind you how beautiful nature is. And I just feel like the beauty of nature is so calming in itself. And I think in the winter it can 
um, be really easy not to be mindful of the beauty of nature. So, so if you're interested in um, one of her pieces of jewelry that'll help you connect to nature, especially like through the heart chakra if you get a necklace, right? It's yeah. Like sitting right here. Um, this is an idea of what they look like. You can check out her website. I will put a link in the description box below. But hopefully you're a little bit more clear on what grounding is, the importance of it, the struggles in the wintertime, and then having some additional methods in order to help you get grounded yeah, and focused yeah. and be more present and mindful. And exactly. Less stressed. Yeah. yeah. So many benefits. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thanks well, for watching. Yeah. Bye. <laughs>